Before I start with the topic of this video, I just want to say thank you to all people that send me messages of how much you love this planner idea and you would like to see it fixed since I did say it is a fail attempt and I will try to fix it. It was great reading your comments and I know I'm not really sharing here some KDP secrets on how to make books that will generate you five thousands of dollars a month at the moment you open your KDP account. So it is truly appreciated to see the views and comments on my crazy ideas. The gloves are off because I gave up on made books. Uh, no matter how much you try, they will get dirty. So gloves are off. And since I will be performing surgery, this should be the video I do wear gloves. <laughs> oh well. Patient is ready. The rusty tool is also ready. So let's give it a go. The plan is to cut the planner in half. At the moment it has 140 pages, which is truly too much. If I cut it in half, that would be around 70 pages. And I modified my Amazon listing, so I re-uploaded the new manuscript, the new interior. So if someone buys this planner now, this one that is already live, it will have 78 pages. Now I want to see if my math was correct and will 78 pages actually work. I also have some bad news, good news at the end of the video. So you can either watch the surgery or skip to the end to hear the bad news. So let's give it a go. So I'm going to guess, this is just eyeballing here, that this is the middle. So this should be 70, 70 on either side, maybe just slightly larger on one side. And I'm going to forcefully bend it as much as it will give me. Okay. And now, yes, I believe that's it. Let's see how it will work. Yes, so in this case it works. So if somebody who buys it right now with 140 pages applies heavy force, it will be useful. It can be used, but we cannot have people on Amazon buying things and applying force. So let's start the surgery. I'm going to start here. Let's see, is it going to be easy? <gasps> Smooth as butter. Oh. Ta -da. It's I don't want to I don't want to cut my desk. Let's go, let's go. Ah, just a little bit. Yes. It's a boy. It's a girl. <laughs> yes, the surgery is over. Let's see. What do we have here? So this is now approximately 70 pages. And let's see. Let's see the middle. Yeah, this one. This one is much, much better. And now I'm going to have a clip here that is also something. So, so just a clip here so it stands like this. Yes, I believe 78 it's going to be good. I'm going to make it slightly. So for this one, um, I cannot change here anything. Maybe I could make it slightly wider and I will make it slightly wider. I will change. This is four inch now. I'm going to make it five inches and keep, of course, the same length because length is the key point of this planner. But now it is much much nicer than before every page can be flattened yeah this is much better so i believe this is going to work it's actually going to work make it 
wider instead of four five inches and make it thinner so maximum around 80 pages that's the plan for the planner and now to the bad news my premium color book let me show you something so this one is standard color book this one is standard color book and i ordered two versions with same interior this one is standard and another one is premium color book my premium color book has not been delivered i ordered 23 books in one order premium color book was included in that order every book from that order was delivered uh, delivered after eight days except premium color book it has been now over 30 days and today i got email i will be refunded i immediately call amazon because i do not need refund i want my book an amazon agent told me that delivery guy wrote and now are you ready to hear this customer refused delivery because package was not wanted Customer refused delivery because package was not wanted. And I also discovered 10 days ago, he tried to deliver the package and claim address is incorrect. My business is registered on Google Maps. There is literally a pin on top of my office on Google Maps. So my mind... Uh, uh, anyway agent told me they will report all of this they will report the delivery service because this is a lie uh, they are claiming that they were here this morning at 8 30 and i was here at 8 30 and nobody was here and they are saying that i refused delivery of my own book that i'm waiting for 30 days and the agent told me they're going to send out a new book and that new book is going to be delivered in 10 days approximately he hopes so this is a huge huge problem with premium color books in europe to be delivered to my country croatia and the worst part is this book is delivered from poland and uh, when i'm editing this video i'm going to show you the distance between poland and croatia and i'm going to show you the distance between italy where the company that's supposed to deliver this book in premium color called Bartolini, I'm going to show you the distance between Italy. They practically, they can swing the book like this. I, and they tell me, Marina, can you come outside your balcony? I will, uh, and I will grab it. That is how far we are. That is the distance between Italy and Croatia. And this book comes from Poland in eight days. And this book travels for 40 days and still it's not here so the bad news is that i still don't have my premium color book so i can actually perform the real tests and start with the tests of everything and the good news is that now they know that i want my book and i want it delivered and now they know that my uh, business address is correct and i'm on google maps and they have my phone if he could not find me, if he could not find my street or my house, there's a phone number on the Amazon package. He could call me and I would come to him. He would say, okay, I'm here. I would take my car and I would drive to him. But not this. They claim that the delivery was attempted 10 days ago and today. And that's like just absolute lie. An absolute total lie. So yeah, I'm kind of, kind of slightly angry about that. I also, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another, so not this one, I'm going to make like a real uh, uh, full color uh, book with premium color interior and I'm going to order that one again and I'm going to see is this going to repeat because if this is going to repeat with premium color books then, then there's no point of making premium color books for Europe if the and I know this is something that we know of this about Italy and Italians they don't like 
to speak any other language except Italian. So when you try to communicate with them on English, they will just ignore you. So this is just something that we know. So I actually tried to call the Bartolini delivery service that's supposed to deliver. And of course, the agent that uh, respond to me speaks English, like just a couple of words. So I'm not sure. But what I suspect is when that book finally arrives, and that is my big, big, uh, how to say, opinion, is that this here is going to be printed in Italy. Because there is no logical answer why everything is happening if that book is printed in Poland. Why did it go from Poland to Italy and to Croatia? The only logical answer is that uh, the premium color books are printed in Italy and their delivery service is... Oh well, do you see me holding my book after 30 days? Okay, surgery was good. Planner survived, had a baby. <laughs> okay, until next video, I'll see you down below in the comments. Bye.